What up? You ever wonder why your high cues don't trigger like you want them to trigger when you're in the middle of a gig, man, and you feel like you're a little bit offbeat? We're gonna talk about it today. It's your boy DJ Q. Man, DJs, you gotta pay more attention to detail when you're setting your high cues in Serato or Tractor or Record Box or Algorithm, whatever digital um, uh, software that you use. So what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna dive into Serato, man. It's gonna be a real quick video, and I'm gonna show you how to, you know, fix that issue. So let's look down here at Serato again. What we want to do is make sure when we are dealing with setting our high cues is that we line up our sound right on the edge of the the sound that we wanted to right on that playhead. So if you look at my right deck as I'm lining it up. I want to get it right on the edge of that that downbeat that I got set right here and set my high cue. So if I set my high cue and I'm way up here, what's going to happen is when I go to trigger that high cue, it's just going to be off beat. It's not going to be on the spot that I want it to be at when I'm looking down at either you know my record or my jog wheel. I'm using a Rev Seven or if I'm using you know the Rev Five like what I got here or whatever you got turntables whatever you got so when you go to line up you know your spot on your record and you hit your high cue and you line up your your position you're going to be off when you go to release that record and drop that record um, and try to be on time so what you really want to do is make sure you take that playhead again line it right up onto the downbeat and then hit your high cue and place it in the right spot what this also helps with is being able to do all kinds of other things like tone plays, finger drummings, setting up for beat juggles. Even if it's like a scratch sound, like like here, you know, I want my my hot cue right on the edge of that scratch sound where I want it. So you can see, like with this one, I'm a little bit off. So what I want to do is go in there and fix it so it's right where I need it to be when I get when I go to scratch. All right, y'all. Yo, again, pay close attention to how you set those high cues in Serato, Record Box, Tractor, Algorithm, or whatever you're doing. So when you go to drop your records, you know, to mix, or you're trying to do a tone play, or you're trying to do some finger drumming, or setting up for a beat juggle, or getting ready to scratch a sound, when you line up your record or your jog wheel in the position, whether you like to be at 12 o'clock, or you like to line up on the needle, that sound is going to be exactly where you want it to be every single time and you're not trying to guess oh man where is my my my, my beat at where is my my all oh, my fresh at because it's not in the right spot and i'm like a hair of a second off and every time i drop my songs in i'm trying to play catch up or you know i'm, I'm trying to you know slow it down because i'm not dropping it on time so again pay close attention to those high cues Man, I hope you, this helps you be a better DJ. I'm DJ Q, man. Like and subscribe if you like the videos. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.